Hey, Dr. Sheikh here from The Dentalist. In the last video, we learned how to define the science of dental materials. You might want to watch that video if you haven't before starting this one. But if you've watched it already, let's begin. Today we'll be talking about four important steps to select the appropriate dental material for your use. Now before we select a dental material for use, there's a series of logical steps that help us justify our use of a certain material in a certain situation. Here are some strong logical steps that you could also call as the selection criteria of dental materials. The first one is to analyze the problem as in what the actual problem is. Either it's a large black cavity on a molar that makes it hard to function, or it's a carious central incisor that just looks bad from the aesthetic point of view. Second is we need to consider our requirements as in what we require from the material we're about to use. Either it should have a good strength to bear the forces and can be compromised aesthetically or we need it to have good aesthetic properties only. In some cases we cannot compromise on either one of these so our choice of material would definitely change according to what we want from the material. Now thirdly, when we have the previous two steps done, we need to look for the availability of the material at our clinic or at our dental setting. There are times when you don't have the ideal material available and you have to work your way around by choosing the material on the basis of the first two steps. So that brings us to our fourth step, which is the choice of material. Choice of material would summarize all the points mentioned before. As to choose a material, we'll have to analyze the problem first, consider our requirements, and then look for the availability of the material. Then we choose the material itself. So concluding today's lesson, we learned the four important steps to select the dental material for your use. Now my advice for you is to keep these four points very close to your heart. So when you have that patient on the dental chair, you know where to start from. So you will first analyze the problem, consider what you require from the material. After that, you would want to check your shelf for the availability of the material, which would help you make the right choice of material for you to finish the case successfully. So I hope you will never forget these four points because you're going to repeat them to me right now. 20 seconds on the clock and your time starts now. Great job! Now you know how we choose the material to be used with just these four steps in mind. In the next video, we'll learn how a dental material is tested for its properties, behavior, and quality before it's launched in the dental clinical world. That's all for now, my friends. This is Dr. Sheikh saying goodbye to you. Take care till we meet again.